EDOT community, this is Dizalon coming at you with an Everder Friday night live stream. All right, so I did want to make sure that I went live sooner than later. I was already getting into this event as best I can, but it is quite exciting. I already have Vintage and Prometheo on Discord. And uh, we're already uh, discussing about how uh, uh, how is this the you know end all be all attacker or is this uh, something that you just want to <laughs> for the pantheon? So, but the relics, yeah, I think we're still learning about this titan. This is true, Everdur. That is the relics. The relics. I'm so happy. I'm going to get another three uh, um, three leaf clover. So nice. Totally. Yeah. So and then, yeah, I didn't get the four leaf clover before, so that's a nice stretch relic. It's three. Keep it. Keep keep the number correct. Remember, because it's it's a lucky clover, which is supposed to be four leaf, but we continue to 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 make fun of the developers and continue to call it the three leaf clover because that's what they had gave us. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny that they haven't changed the artwork yet. Hmm. I thought they would just kind of sneak it in there and just turn it to a four leaf clover. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that'll be a Pantheon Relic. Later Pantheon Relic, it'll come out. Yeah, it'll be a better version of this one. It's like, this one has four leaves. It's super lucky. <laughs> yeah, right? So, but then we also have the uh, Council Insignia, which is not pictured here, but also an ingre- incredibly good Universal AP Relic. And we do have this also, you can see here on the right, the Keeper Staff, which also uh, buffs the Apex Panthers. So, yes, we have another troop type. It's another version of the Panthers, and they're green. But, yes, if you are someone who has a growth urn for 1.5, uh, they continue to give the uh, opportunity to get a bo- an extra bonus just because you have growth urn. So, besides from that, Everdur, Life Spark, Loki, and Freya, I actually am using uh, Life Spark, believe it or not, to do this event. But uh, as soon as I get up to Everdur, I will uh, be using Everdur to do the last 4,000 souls. It's the way to do it. That's, do the back-end grind with the new Titan. That's the, way I, that's the way I'm playing this one. Plus, I did a whole bunch of saving recently. So, of course, I came into this event with something like 10, I think, saved relics, which wasn't bad at all. So, And I've so far used... I did buy two packs. I normally would buy three. But since I also knew that I didn't have to go to work tomorrow... I'm going to be doing a, lot, a bunch of extra grinding because I, I still have tons of portal stones. So this, I, I'm going to take advantage. What's up, Lex? Yellow Umbrella. Beholder. Mr. Maga. Austin Bird. Mad Yoda. From Russia. Thank you for joining. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't uh, read your name, but thank you for joining. I always appreciate it. What's up above below? What's up house? Austin Bird. You you don't oh, like Everdur? House doesn't like Everdur. Everdur? Not no. a fan of Everdur. Not broken enough for him? Not broken I enough? Know. He can't hit auto raid. Oh. Sorry, Poor house. <laughs> Why can't you auto raid with this one? It's perfectly auto raidable. So I, I want to throw out a, an irresponsible prediction and see Uh-oh. see what other people are thinking. So I spent quite a bit of time today uh, and yesterday, actually, talking with someone in the game I very much respect. I've word with, word against, uh, just a tip of the spear kind of guy. And his theory is that now that they've drained everyone of divine gems, you know, they release arthropods and suck divine gems out of the game. Then they release the the archmage staff, which you're guaranteed to get to suck more divine gems out. He thinks new divine titans are just around the corner, and I'm telling you, I can't disagree with that. Oh, oh, I still think it's going to be happening this summer. Easily June, July, August. Easily. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's happening. (laughs) Well, look, people need goals in the game. 
So I'm all in favor of that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Having AK gem, AKDGs at the time when the Archmage staff dropped, I I no regrets at all for gra- grabbing it. I, I it was definitely something on my bucket list to grab something as as soon as it comes out and 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 that it's OP. That's awesome because it wasn't it actually wasn't a Titan. It actually was a relic, but it was a guarantee. That's what I loved about it. So yeah, I mean think think back to the time right after Zabava dropped. What were people complaining about not having the most? Trickster's Blades. Trickster's Blades. Mm. And everyone who didn't have it was like, oh, God, I don't have Trickster's Blades. I'm not in the meta. You know, it, there need to be things like that. Because, frankly, the, right after Zabava, people kind of lost interest in the game because there wasn't a whole lot that you needed. You know, true, she yeah. invalidated so much in, in the game. I think we're reaching a point now where the level of complexity is increasing and the number of goals people can have you know especially top level players has gone back up to a level where there's a lot of interest in you know oh, well i have to level this titan now and check that titan out i want to get that divine relic you know i want to you know do all this stuff and so people have goals again well i dude i agree i mean i've gotten so many good relics recently i am desperate for conquest desperate <laughs> agreed agreed with vintage desperate for conquest I'm going to be getting a bunch of other good relics in this event, such as the Council of Insignia, which I just had on the screen. Forest carving, it's always nice to have another one. I think that would be my third, maybe, I think. Um, and then Panther Muzzle, I think that's like my fourth. So, but uh, they're great relics, and as many uh, Poison uh, Titans as we have, they're pretty much used on all builds on all the different ones. <laughs> so having as many as you can of both of those relics is great. And then Lucky Clover, of course, at the very end. Also great to be able to grab that. There, there's four or five relics in this event that you kind of need to level. Mm-hmm. And then you got here. Yeah, but a lot of them you probably are. So there's also, also besides here. from the epic token, which of course you can use during the altar of abundance, and the wait a second, two epic tokens, I should say, two epic tokens during altar of abundance, and you get Artemis, and you also get this poison element token. Now, of course, not many people have mentioned this. It was in my comment section, I think, at one point um, of one of my most recent, uh, the, my most recent video. And, yeah, the Poison Element token, interesting. So, yeah, we also have... Yeah, I I actually used that token, and I got... Oh, wait, I don't remember, because I immediately fed it into my Everdur. (laughs) Very nice. I'm sure that's what the the whole point of why they had it in there. And, of course... Not that one. Obi-Zod, oh my gosh, I hope you're right, dude. Right there. He says his prediction is that one of the new DG Titans is going to be the rock chucker that I'm fantasizing about. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> the Earth Arch yeah. Mage. <laughs> I'm going to pull my poison token right now to make up for Vintage having already used this. Nice. Let's see what I get. <laughs> I'm only like halfway to it. Meku. Meku. Yeah, I think I got Arca. I think that's what I got. Somebody pulled the Sakani in my Discord and was like, I've never seen this Titan before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that post. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's interesting. Um, So we got uh, Soldier in the chat. What's up, Soldier? Soldier's been putting out content again. I'm so happy to see that, Soldier. So uh, another SPP account is showing signs of life again. Sweet. Thank you, Soldier. That's always good. Yes. Is we'd love to see more content, Soldier, as always. Uh, let's see. PA Everder for you already, Extinction? Okay, can someone please explain how the rage works? It's written damage 200. Well, do they mean plus 200,000% or 200% damage or base damage increased by 200? Or what exactly? Thank you. So you were I'd like f- to make a suggestion to the developers. We have all these pantheons that are from old times in the game that involve titans that just don't come around, like Basathi. I'm looking at the Poison Tome uh, 
one at Ladega. Hmm. Can we just get these Pantheon collections knocked out together with these solo wars, you know, so that if you really want to do one of them, that you just do a solo war event and pick up all the Titans? Because that would, I think, really inspire collectors to do some of those events. And then you're effectively throwing the relic into the solo event too, which well, they do that in conquest. Bonus. They do that in conquest a lot with with a lot of pantheon titans. I just say I'd rather them keep those to to conquest and assault titan. When was Basathi in a conquest? When well, was Ladega in a conquest? Like, collection titans have been being thrown into like conquest. Or the Relics of War. That's the other thing, too. You can pick them up oh, yeah, in, yeah. with the Relics of War. Because that's how I got my last one that I needed for... I got Malcor with the, with Relics of War recently. I'm just saying, it shouldn't take three years to finish one of these collections. It should be like, you know... Just let people know that you're going to have the opportunity to get all these Titans in a series of events that are coming up. Well, that would be, yeah, right. It would be great that, to that give be notification, done. because that's what everybody wants, to be able to plan things out better. Yeah, and Prometheus throwing out yet another thing that they could be making mo- money, money on. Yeah. yeah. My gosh. Collectors want to finish collections. So make it transparent how you assemble that collection. Make it like an event that takes an entire month to complete, you know, and then you get the com- collection done and you get the relic. Yeah. Well, even like with what they used to do, someone was mentioning that this the other evening where. You know, if you cap so many lands, you get the, you know, it's not Relic of War. It was something else, right? Um, some shard or whatever. But once you collect enough, then you can pull them, right? Right. Well, we, we know they have different shards for each one of the uh, classes. They exist in the game. They just have to, you know, just repurpose them. We know they've done that before with, say, you know, Throne Wars relics, event relics. They just repurposed them. (laughs) So they can do that. Yeah. Even better, going back to my suggestion about these Pantheon collections, they really ought to have, like, a way for free-to-play players to get these things. And my view is that 6 or 8K souls is a very doable free to play hard grind number. So just dropping one of these Titans in every single event <clears throat> around that level so that people can just slowly build up their collections would be something that free to play players would really love. Totally. And the players who don't care if you don't care about the collections, it's just prestige food. Well right. And you know, just the the whole what I think is just dumb putting two and three star Titans in an event at all. It's just stupid. So, you know, ditch those two and just put, yes, put in one of the Pantheon, you know, more esoteric Titans in at six K because again, we've had prestige for a year now having 18 Titans. What? Dude, that is that takes forever, forever to assemble eighteen of one it's element. Right. There should be three or four four star titans in every event. And you shouldn't have to join one of the number one teams in you know a, a, a bracket that is getting a titan every week in order to fill in some of these gaps, like Ulrich. I mean. Now, how many times has Ulrich been in an event in the last two years? Maybe Not once. many. Not many. Right. Maybe one time. It just doesn't make sense for them to be so rare. It's up slick. Yeah, there should be a plan where each of these Pantheon collections has basically one Fulcrum Titan that's hard to get. And the rest of them should just be, like, dropping all the time. That's exactly how it works when you play the Monopoly game at uh, McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, there's 40 million park place in one boardwalk. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, 
if you didn't get to see the the uh, the sweet, there's uh, there's two there's well there's the movie. What is it? Uh, Founder uh, or the Founder, which is a McDonald's movie. But then uh, there's also yeah. the uh, McBillions. Is that what it was? That was the uh, whole uh, um uh what's it called? Um, it was a documentary about how. Uh, there was corruption in, in the whole uh, giving away the million dollars for people winning uh, the uh, contest for the Monopoly game between the years of like, I don't know, like 92 to like 2000. It's crazy. Sounds like the Divine Temple. Yeah, oh, it, it was crazy. <laughs> there was massive payoffs and, and all this inside stuff and, oh, it was... Really good documentary. I think that's on HBO, actually. If I remember correctly. So this uh, Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey is really good. And like I said, it was a $15 bottle for... It's a 375 milliliter, so again, it's not that big. But I just wanted to try it. Of course, my buddy. I'm trying to think of what I want to mix it with, peanut butter. Well, I'm just, I'm just taking it straight. But uh, when it comes down to my buddy who, that uh, which is Yellow Umbrella uh, Brewing in the chat, my buddy who is going to be doing a lot of the brewing for our business in the future, wants to add this screwball whiskey to a stout beer and see how it works. Right. That makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. Like it, like uh, big thick Guinness kind of beer, mm-hmm. frothy. Mm-hmm. Get some peanut butter in it. I'm in. I'm in for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of a different take on the Irish car bomb. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I do have. Um... Of course, I'm using uh, Axis of War instead of, in lieu of, the Hornet. Now, I do. I was like, oh, I could use the Hornet. But it just so happens that because LifeSpark is uh, not at 51, so I'm not getting Omegas or anything else dropping, I was like, all right, if I, if I put it on Axis of War, you get all that uh, extra range resist. So I lose a, bit more, a, a lot less troops that way in the long run. But I do have Spark of Life on there too, which is nice, which will, will be helpful eventually. Only one of the one of the three skills right now is really actually working on there because the other two apply to the Omegas, which aren't in battle. Yeah, Shai Zalon's got a peanut butter whiskey. Yeah, it's called Screwball. It's got like a... That's like, what do you mix that with? And Zalon said, a stout beer. And I'm like, ah, that could probably be pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> I have a... But is everybody done with the event already? I'm assuming. <laughs> no, Riger. You're gonna play like I got like six hundred to grind. Oh, okay, vintage. You're you're there already. I'm like right there. I overbought. I've got. <clears throat> I'm at like twenty four six, and I have a three star and a two star left. So I'm probably just gonna grind out the rest of it and hold on to those tokens. Yeah, I was gonna say save them for a solo event. Yeah, because yeah, you exactly. get full value now, which again is a great thing that's changed in the game. So. Yeah, it'll come back around. As far as opinions on Everdur go, I feel like uh, he's easy to grind with. There's a lot to like. Uh, is he tip of the spear? You know, I leave that to you to decide, but uh, I think that he's totally worth getting. Mm-hmm. Agreed. This is why I do pass on... 
I passed on a few events. Just and I mentioned this earlier to somebody that, uh, in the in, in-game chat because they were talking about. I think it was Austin uh, talking about how he he just does so many different events. And uh, when is there going to be one that he passes on? I I I said, well, I just pass on ones that don't you know have very little to offer to nothing you know because it does happen. So and uh, but. Obviously, with a player that may not have had all the as many opportunities to get some of these things in the past, it's just playing catch up. That's all. But there will be a point where you'll realize that what's being offered, you may not need almost any of it because you already have it. Yeah, I totally skipped Trickster's Blades. Exactly. So that's and that's the thing too. Like for instance, if the if the developers decide to do twenty five k finish plus events. After the uh, Norris Relics are finished for the first gens over again to finish out this year and then offer us Golden Relics next year, you know, and just continue their the trend of how they've been releasing the five-star Relics into the game. Uh, I believe that uh, with the those 25k uh, events uh, that we should... Uh, I don't know what I was getting at. Sorry. Yeah, I think they're finally getting a little more liberal with the relics. Yeah. Finally. Agreed. But yeah, um, our boy Entheogen put out leaks for the next relics. Yes. <clears throat> and what I'm about to say is not reflecting on Entheogen, obviously. He does mm-hmm. a great service for the community and allowing us to prepare for the future. Yeah. I see a lot of crap that I'm skipping in the near future. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Could you read off a few of the things? Because I, if I remember correctly, uh, I don't have it up in the background. I would prefer not. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's one called Tarhoon's Sigil. Correct. You know, the, um, he's coming next week. And. It's 60% Corrupted Grenadier Armor Piercing, 50% Titan and Troop Fire Damage, 40% Titan and Troop Armor Piercing, and then the synergy for Tarhoons is that you get a 30% larger aura, and every 7 seconds, Tarhoons shields up to 4 troops within his aura, with a max of 10. So it's like 40 shield spells. So... That's the only one that I was moderately interested in, just because Tarhoons does have a niche. In. Yeah, I like Tarhoons a lot, and I got a second one. So, if anything, I would really like to, to level up that Tarhoons and throw all this stuff, this new stuff on him. Which I also believe, see, even getting that second Tarhoons, I don't actually have any uh, Tarhoon's relics, so I'm uh, thinking they're going to offer a few of those relics over again as well. So, like the Horn of Infernus, as well as maybe the, uh, what is it, um, there was a few other uh, um, relics, like the, uh, it's like a bronze arm that's uh, also uh, a relic for Tarhoon's. So there's a few other just that I'm missing. So I think they're gonna re-offer them again during that event. So it's a it's a definitely a possibility for me. But what were the other relics vintage? Did I lose everybody in Discord? Massive reskill to Uranus. The guy's not even gonna be sniffing the meta. And honestly, this Oops. is my problem with the vast majority of the synergies that they've done to date. And this exposes how they're changing the meta so drastically and so fast. You take a, a Titan, you know, from the freaking War Gods. Yeah, it's a year ago, but honestly, in the this lifespan of this game and how many Titans you should be using... It, it's not that long ago. Yeah, vintage, and could they, you read off the skills? Synergies on them. What's that? Could you read off the skills again? Because I, I, my Discord cut out. I only got like the, the back end of what you were talking about with Uranus. Okay, so the Uranus Synergy Relic is called Warrior's Mark. It's got 50% Titan physical damage, 
30% base troop damage, which makes the relic good, you know, <laughs> right off the bat. But because of the first skill, you can only put it on a physical Titan. Third slot is Titan, 40% Titan and troop armor piercing. Now the synergy for Uranus is 70%. This is a mouthful, but listen, 70% base Titan troop damage and health. I'm assuming that's base numbers for all that. 70%. Then, on a militia or archer death, you get a 15% chance to gain their Omega spell, max of three. Now, that's an Omega so, spell. That means yes. you're going to be able to place it. That's right. What, that's what I got from that. Yeah. So, I, I went into this little diatribe. I said the problem with the vast majority of these synergy relics are that they're on titans that have no chance whatsoever of being near the meta. And that's a perfect example of how they're making these drastic and fast changes to the power creep. You know, it's not power creep, it's power spikes. Because you take a titan like Uranus, all this sounds awesome on this relic, I'm sorry, it doesn't even get him near sniffing the meta. He's not even close. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with that last part. So, you know, I mean, the relic, you got to look at just the three slots. Physical damage, base troop damage, Titan and troop armor piercing. And do you need it? So, that's Warrior's Mark. Finally, the dreaded Arca. Arca... Flammarium, okay? <laughs> this is 50% Titan fire damage. So right off the bat, you can only put it on fire titans. 40% Titan and troop armor piercing. And then on ally death, 35% chance to cast fireball in meteor oh. on four troops. <laughs> 20 second cooldown. On ally death. Yeah, so it's relying so not on not only losing. do your troops have to die, yes. you're calling the two worst spells in the game. Mm -hmm. That relic is troops, awful. Yeah. By the that's, time one of your troops dies, you, you don't need a fireball or a, that. Yeah. That sound that sounds like a finish plus plus. My <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one is awful. just awful. Yeah, there are times in this game where. They take a pattern that worked in one context, and then they apply it in a different context, and it just looks so ridiculously bad. It's like yeah. you just copy pasted, and you didn't think about it. You know, right. it's like it's it's one of the things that can drive people crazy in, an, in a workplace where it's like, uh, dude, you really should have thought about that before you just copy pasted. But yeah. you know, in this context, it's like. You've got every player in the game looking at it and thinking, "That's garbage. Why would I ever, you know, spend a gem, or or use a single relic to level that up?" Because nobody, is. nobody. Yeah. By the time any of your troops dies, you don't need fireballs and meteor showers. It, it's completely irrelevant. Well, and, and think about okay, think about the mechanics of the game, okay, and even to get these spells, okay. Your troop has to die. Then there's only a 35% chance you're going to call one of these spells, and there's a 20-second cooldown. Yeah. Those percentages and times make no sense. You know, you're going to have a maximum of 14 troops anyway. I mean, you know, are, are they all going to suddenly die at the same time? I mean, what, what's with the cooldown? And why have a chance? You know, with I mean, is a fireball going to change the tide of a battle? I mean, good I God. Mean, to be fair, they could make it a 100% chance to get rid of the cooldown, and that relic would still suck. I agree. I totally yeah, agree. Totally and that, that was my point, I guess, is why even put those restrictions yeah. on it? Yeah. That, even, that, even the part one, the, the, you know, the 10x damage on, um, on Everdur makes the Poison Cloud one almost interesting, and yet... When I sit down and I think, how could I actually use this? The fact that it only triggers on an ally death makes it just completely irrelevant. 
So right. so what I what I can tell you, rating with Ever Dead <laughs> is uh, on on PP lands on level twenty five. It's five seconds. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I bet. Because of, yeah. because the poison spells hit, everything dies. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think anyone who says that he's not worth having is not a grinder, and that you know you don't really need to spend a whole lot of po- uh, you know XP food to get him up because you just hit the button. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I can't uh, wait to go. Uh, yeah, that that's my it's my conquest dream titan. Yeah, he's 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 ra- rating PP is fast, but the, those three relics they came out with are garbage. I won't be doing any of those. Yeah, the the only one that has any utility whatsoever is if you still like to use Tarhoons. But the Warrior's Mark and the Arca Flammarium, those are just awful. Agreed. I think the only thing I'm waiting for is Odin, the reskill Odin, because just because the little shade of Odin with Loki is really good. Oh, yeah. If they give if, Odin if, that ability where he's... That, exactly. Him, if they give him, if they give the Titan that ability, he'll be pretty Because awesome. if, you, if you keep him alive, the, the more he yeah. goes in the battle, he just destroys troops. Right, yeah. The, that lightning spell every hit is just going to do a lot of work. Yeah, I, I I suspect Odin is the Minerva killer everyone's waiting on. Yeah, that that's what I that's what I think so too. Because mm-hmm. Odin was like the first mega mega hype titan. We all remember Ooh. that. You know, they were right. wearing costumes and crap on the live stream. Oh yeah, well, and 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 he really wasn't all that great. He got overshadowed so quickly. I know. No. Yeah, but he was the first to come out with the long range shot too. That well, and it splashed. Exactly. The problem was, is he was all ranged in the age of Shadow Dancer, giving ranged immunity. <laughs> wow! Shadow. So they released a Titan into a meta where he was utterly, utterly useless on defense. Well, it wasn't just Shadow Dancer. I had a Calcord that made my Grenadiers ranged immune. That was one of the first things I ever did a video on. And 100% yeah. ranged immunity meant that Grenadiers could just keep bombing on, you know, Archers and Odin himself. And just, right. I, I, I was killing stuff, I was killing level 25 castles when I was, like, castle 19. Right. What's up, Shy? Join us as well. I think the Venorium is meant for attacking specific titans. Hmm, it's possible, Sean M. But I have a P. You have a P. Ten Tarhoons extinction. Nice. I'll tell you what's great about the, that that council relic. Everything. Every, everything. Everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I put that insignia relic on Gaia. Got enough armor piercing now? <laughs> Along with the, the other Draco one? Mm-hmm. Now, something else I'm working on in the background. Hopefully, we'll be able to complete it by the end of the stream. My uh, Archmage's staff is uh, level 9. And I want to max it by the end of the nice. stream. Nice. I want to max it by the end of the stream. So, did you did you pull that vinegar now, dude? I chickened out, man. You chickened out. <laughs> well, no, you chickened out. Uh, no, he, he was talking to another person. Oh, new new divine titans are coming. Yeah, yeah new divine titans right. are coming, man. Did you know what it is? Out. It's not only that, but you know, I'm hoping. That they see the light and we can get some uh, DG relic choices. Mm-hmm. They have to see that Archmage's staff has become uh, incredibly popular because of, of it, its yep, immunity. Yeah, because they always claim, oh, we have access to all the data. We keep all the numbers. Okay, mm-hmm. you tell me where the Divine Gems are getting spent right now. Right. Yeah, I'm at 7,700, so I'm like, 
What are you gonna do, House? What are you gonna do? I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, well, the reason the reason I wanted to pull it is because, of course, it's amazing right now. Mm. But I keep going back to how fast are they going to have something come out that craps all over all the archmages? Uh. So, yeah, I'm gun shy, man. I'm like I'm like terrified to use my divine gems. Well, I'll tell you a story that'll only That's make you feel more gun shy. Like a couple days before the Archmage staff was announced, uh, my friend Wardon, he spent his divine gems on a um, uh, on a pole for um, a golden relic, and he got Yoichi's Yumiya. He was happy about that, but he would have saved for the Archmage relic. It, or, you know what? I think that he actually. He got that one earlier, and then it was the, it was, he pulled for the arthropod oh. and got Widow's Bite. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah I pulled that weird. one, too, dude. That's I gotta got to be one. My oh, first two arthropods, Widow's Bite, Manus Prayer. I almost threw my tablet through the window. Yeah, I only I pulled got the one, and it was the bite. Ugh. Going back to... Uh, another thing that I've talked about before is there needs to be a way that you can guarantee that you don't get duplicates for these yeah, expensive totally. things in the game. Right. The game should be designed so that when you're doing a random pull, you will not get a duplicate. Because I won't go back to the arthropod altar because of that. I won't go back to the golden altar because I don't want another copy of Conyers. Will, will you will you get rid of the Archmage staff though, Prometheus? Yeah, I, that's what I'm going to do because I don't want duplicates. Mm. Mm-hmm. I might even get an Amber, even though they're not that great, just because I know I won't get a duplicate. Right. Yeah, and and see, that's where I, I'm stranded when it comes to the Golden Relics and the Arthropods, because in both of those classes, the only two I have pulled are the Infiltrator and the Paladin, which are the worst of both of those, uh, you know, generations of five stars. I, if I, cause if I pulled a duplicate, I'd probably rage quit. <laughs> yeah. But you, but you have to realize that they, they understand all this because look, look at the Amber's route. The arthropods came pretty quick right behind them. So they must've noticed, Hey, people aren't really pull. People aren't really pulling these, these Amber's that much. So Sean M, here's the thing about you know the the arthropod, the bug five star relics. You know, three of them are freaking awesome. One of them is decent, then two of them are trash. Now, in your past, if you have pulled like me, mostly infiltrator and paladin five stars, do not do not pull from the arthropods. That's salt. That's solid advice. I agree with that. I was gonna say I never got a berserker relic before from a pool, besides from Shadow Dancer. Actually, no. I think I got Shadow Dancer in an event. Um. So actually, to be honest, I never got a, a berserker relic before ever, and typically got infiltrator relics because I have every infiltrator relic for each one of, including the amber and the golden. So. Yeah, I was, well, I, I was surprised. Still on- well, the, o- the only place that I have fought the norm, so to speak, and I don't know why, is in the Norse relics. Um, yeah, I just, I just, I didn't really pull the, you know, the, because I never had Trickster's Blades, right? Um, but it was, it was just the Norse relics where I pulled, a, I pulled a bunch, like five or six of them. And, uh, you know, I think I got uh, the... Paladin one once, so it was it was just the Norse relics though. So so my my last six pulls have been two Earth Shakers, three pole axes, and one oh. scorpion, one scorpion sting. Damn. Yeah, holy crap! Right, it's like all so, freaking champs. Six champion relics in a row. After the third court scorpion sting, I swear to God, this I, I go. I'm gonna throw this through this eighty inch TV. 
it's going to be stuck in there. Wait, you only have one, right? One what? You only have one scorpion sting, right? One scorpion sting, three pole axes, and yeah. two earth shakers. Okay. So the, the, that's the last six relics I've pulled. Correct. Well, stay away from Norse because you're going to get Mjolnir, yeah. but you'll be able to get that in an event, so don't waste your DGs. I'm not going to buy into the theory that you really get stuck, but I will say my account supports the data, but it uh, does support that you also switch because I was stuck on Earthshaker for like six pulls straight, and and now I can't get anything but Infiltrator Relics. Yeah, I mean, dude, almost two-thirds, two in three of my five-star relics that I pulled from the temple, I'm not counting the ones that I got from events, two-thirds of my five-star relics, I have almost 30 of them. They're either Infiltrator or Paladin. Two-thirds. That is double the rate that it's supposed to happen, and almost 30 is a decent sample size. Lawrence Wicks, that's why they happen. Yeah. It, now in order to get anything different, I have to do finish events. Well, I would... Re I, in all honesty, in, in, in after... I would say after getting at least three out of the six... I would I would tell you not to not to pull any more and wait until they come out so that you can just grab the ones that you want. In all honesty, because the more you put in but, right now, currently the way it's set up, chances are after you get at least half of them, the chances are pretty high that you're going to pull a duplicate. So okay, but just like Bennett said, you can rotate them to where you have every week. But if you think about it, like Prometheus said, there should be no way where you can get duplicate. So if you go back to that, you've already pulled four out of the five. You know what the fifth one's going to be to complete the set. Well, yeah. yeah. If, if, they, if, they if they incorporate something like that, it'd be amazing. So but in the current though. state that they it's could. in, they won't. it's 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 because they want you to do to do finish plus events. So, but but not only what Ben said, you don't have to put it to where I can pick, but you can put it to where I know I'm not going to get some I already have, so yeah. I can complete the collection. Yeah, there's multiple viable solutions to the to the current horror show. Mm -hmm. They they can pick one. I don't care. <laughs> so well, well, you, you, well, Vintage, you could actually say, okay, for the Norse relics, you can pick for five thousand what you want. You know what I'm saying? Oh, of course. I mean, that would that would be the easiest thing. Or you could or you could take the gamble for four thousand and roll or three thousand, make it half up. 2,500. Yeah. It's like, you know, with the gold relics, I, I have the two worst ones you can get. I would love a crack at a couple of those. I'd like Yochi's Yumiya. You know, for Saturday's Axes, I'd like to play around with that. Why not? Mm-hmm. Or yeah, Axe's yeah. Arms. Well, they're all, not they're to, all coming in. They're all gamble. coming next year. All the gold relics are all coming next year. You'll see them in the, event, in the Finish Plus events. Going back to something I've said before, again, if you just had every week one of these five-star relics that had its own altar, mm. it could be the same cost as it usually is. But if you just had one rotating altar that you can go to and get one of these relics, people would love it, and it wouldn't change anything about the balance of the game. Agreed. Just like seen. I said in my video, if you're a free-to-play guy, you're pulling once or twice a year. If you're a super duper maximum spender guy, you know, I put myself in the Kraken class. I'm pulling five or six times a year. Five or six a year. Well, it does depend on if you're a newer player pulling two Ks to pulling eight Ks. There is you're gonna pull a few more times if you're doing if you're doing lower DG. That's true. Usually pull on the uh -huh. high end. I haven't made it. Just saying. Because if you're super duper now. spender and you're pulling 2Ks because you're a brand new player, you're going to pull maybe a dozen times. But yeah, exactly. But to Prometheus' point, even the new guy pulling a dozen times, that's not going to change the balance of the game. Because, mm. again, if they had the choice, I'll bet they wouldn't be pulling the first generation. Yeah. 
Tech, Tech, Tech. There's a guy in our league right now who's got 30 prestige 10 Titans, and every Titan on his land's got a five star. Yep. Yeah, I mean, if you're top t- top two or three in every single solo event, that maybe I, I, you know, that's believable. But that sounds pretty suspicious. He's got two brand new archmages on uh, Minerva that are P10s. <laughs> He's that got are- two P10 Minervas. Yep. Wow. Jesus. Okay. Sure. He's got six Beowulfs. Are they, <laughs> they're all, they are all P10s with five stars. Well, then that's definitely extremely suspicious. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what me and Buddy said. We're like, there ain't no way. Like, there's there's no way. He's he's in PBSO. Huh. Yeah, he is. I, you, you can go look. At, I, I think he's got two or three lands out right now, but he's in the number one team right now. You said five Beowulfs? Wait, what? There, okay. There was an event. He's that got, you, no, he's, he's got six Beowulfs. A six? We were talking about it. Because there was six. a. Don't you remember that one screenshot that was from that last uh, Altar of Abundance that had two Beowulfs in the same screen? I don't know, but he had. They were all P10s on. We were we, we were I in know. chat going. There's just no way. I see it. Even if he did get six Beowulfs, to have all of them P10, to have six Beowulfs and two Minervas, that's eight Titans of the same type, all P10. Yeah, you know, it costs nine hundred dollars to to P ten one of them. So if he's got eight of them, that's seventy two hundred dollars. Again, possible but suspicious. Impossible but suspicious. I mean, he might be like a uh, an oil sheik or something like that. He's got he's got thirty P ten Titans with all five star relics. Sure, yeah, he's either really balling. Oh, exactly. Oh, oh, hey, oh, vintage, go look him Vintage, when you get a chance, go look him out. He's in PBSO. He's on the he's on the top team in our in our server. We were like, yeah. there's no there's no way. Yeah, Drifty Which says say. it's Alde, Alde Master. He's yeah, a massive all, all he's the, a massive yeah, he, whale yeah, spender. Exactly. I wish uh, I could say that there's definitely someone at the company who is looking at the mathematical value of what you have on your account and then correlating that against, you know, financial records of how much you've spent in the game and just, you know, trying to establish is there a correlation when you get to like, you know, three standard deviations above the norm. And I honestly cannot tell you that that's how it works, you know, but when someone's account looks like they have spent $10,000 in the last six months, then the company should be able to tell us that they've audited that player's account and that, you know, they've actually spent a reasonable amount of money to get what they've got. You know, yeah. I mean, if it looks like he spent 20,000 bucks and they can tell us like, Oh, you, you know, mean like yes, there's like a verified out that account. Oh, it's well, like, well, there's well, like I... a verified stamp on your, on your castle that says you've been checked. No. Well, no, I agree. Why not? With I agree with Prometheo because I know what I spend and I see people that are on my alliance like Vintage and also more and and where they're at. And I'm like, wait, you guys aren't even close to what this person is. What's going on here? I mean, you could put a little green flag on someone's account, you know, so that it shows up on their castle just so that people don't report them all the time. You know, because if I see that player, I'm probably reporting them because it's extremely suspicious. You know, but yeah, I used to get reported quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Used to, my test account gets uh, reported uh, on occasion. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, what, you know, but you guys know what it takes to get there. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, I've I legitimately had the assets to prestige four titans all the way, like Life Spark. You know, some of the earlier ones. Now with a couple more recent ones. I had to like wail it a bit, um, but like with Minerva, I, I you know I'm at the point in the game where I don't even want to wail it because I think there's going to be a Titan within the next two or three weeks that's going to crap all over Minerva, and I'm not going to prestige her to ten. I agree because yeah. I'd have to spend on it. You know, I'd have to spend three hundred dollars to prestige all the way. I'm waiting for the next Divine Titan to see if those. That are worth the long haul play. Yeah, I think that's. The, I mean, that's what if the what right if it's strategy. another growth or Nephilina situation when they first come out? You're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Right, exactly. 
Yeah, if, I, if they come <laughs> out and are turds, then it goes into relics. Yeah. Yep. We'll flush the room. I'll just come out and tell you. I, I play this game every day. I spend money on this game. Get it, Prometheus. Uh, I do events. I do not have a P10 Titan. Wait. And it's not because I spent all my prestige food on one Titan that I shouldn't have. You know, it's it's not because I'm unreasonably holding back a huge reserve, you know. The prestige food is just not there in the game for players who are active. It's not enough so that we can count on being able to P10, you know, the, the top meta titans. And so yeah, my advice to players... Active, yeah, yeah, just being active is not going to get you there. No, not oh, even just being active. I just have a hard time prestiging. Once a month. I I, ha- yeah, I have a yeah, crap yeah. ton of saved up titans. I just have a hard time just taking right. that final leap of faith to to, to P ten them. I have, have a few. To, I have a few at P seven, but that's it. Yeah, yeah, I have a few at P seven, but it it that's only half the way to P ten. Yeah. So you know, you like, have I think to commit fully to P tening a titan, whether it's one you have now or one that you will get in the future. Right. Well, it's so it's seven and it's double the well spoken, Shy. Shy is definitely of a few P10 Titans. Definitely. Well, we I, I don't know if we got one because I we, made the decision to do it quick so that the P10 gives you as much value early. Right. That's where it's most valuable. So, like, I'm looking to P10, whatever the next Divine Titan is. So, I haven't, I haven't prestiged any of the Archmages because I'm just. Saving every Titan I got because I don't know what element it's going to be, right. and so whenever whenever it comes out, I'm going to max it and P10 it as quick as possible. Yeah, and then whatever I've got left after the dust settles, I'll put into other. Yeah, but, I I did Necromancer like immediately, you know, and I spent a couple hundred bucks kind of finishing off the P10 on Necromancer. Yeah, and I just got burned on it, so I'm done with right. it. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to P10 something, it's worth doing it immediately if you can. Or just pick one. You know, like Hell would have been a great one to just go ahead and oh yeah, commit to Damn P10 it. her because she's yep. going to be a good attacker for a long time. Yep. Or, or go back to Hachiman. Hachiman yeah. P10 was something to do within the first month that he came out. Right. Yeah. If you if you waited until right before Zababa came out, then you got burned. Or Necrosa. Yeah. When Necrosa first came out, P10 and Necrosa wasn't a bad yeah, idea. Necrosa, Life Spark, the whole War Gods era. I mean, that was a great time to prestige. And you might and after that, it was like the I, meta flip. I don't know about I don't know about prestige and things now that's so quick. They change it so fast. Yeah. Uh, if, yeah. So like with Necrosa, I P10 her pretty quick, and then I got another bump when she came back around, and they gave her a synergy relic or whatever it was. So if you you know. You, got the you can get that first bump, and then you can get it when they come back around again, and they give them something else. But if you miss that first time, on. Yeah, so Shy's in it for the the uh, the uh, the DG Titans. That's that's the highlight for Shy because he already rode the, oh, the okay. wave. He rode the the high wave once with Necrosa, and he's like, I want to get back up there again. Want to jump back up There's on that top is- wave. <laughs> They're the longest way. Really counting on the next Divine Titans as well, because the last right. two were kind of like, bleh. Right, we've had some duds, so I'm hoping maybe they, the next round's going to be well, the Well, the uh, Sababa so should have been the Divine Titan. Yes. One yeah. of them. Yeah. Well, who would have been the defensive the Titan? Zababa and Rostam? The two of them? Probably. I mean, I mean Rostam had his run for a while. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, would those have been the two Titans you would have put in the DG altar yeah, instead? I mean, actually, I'm not. I'm not a fan of all these ma- these archmages. I think the Dragon Slayers were a bit more played out than than these archmages. I mean, I really certainly had a little more fun using the Dragon Slayers. Well, let's see. Let, let's look at it this way: we had a bit more fun playing with the Dragon Slayers than the archmages. As I mean, wh- when it comes down to how long the time period lasted, because we d- we don't really know what's up next right after the now that Everdur is the last one, it seems kind of like a real quick. And if they're going to jump into something else right after this, that may be something that's just going to flip the archmages over. I mean, ha- that's a very fast turnaround in comparison to how long of a time we had with the Dragon Slayers in comparison to the time we had with the War Gods. You know. 
so we had like seven months of Dragon Slayers. It was it was a nice time period. Whereas yeah, these these uh, archmages are gonna have what a three month span. So it seems that uh, you know that's what it, it it could appear because again we we have a few weeks and then what we're going to see the next meta. Because are they, Possible, are they yeah. honestly going to go mo- like more than three or four weeks without having a major event in the game? I mean, they did it for the Dragon Slayers. There was a whole, whole mo- there was a whole month, and, and then there was yeah, correct. The- I I honestly think Odin's going to be way overpowered. Oh, I agree. I think Odin's going to be absurd. Um, I think he's going to be. I think he's going to have some meat shield out in front of him and store maidens or whatever. It's just going to wreck. I wonder how long they're going to go after we get done with the Norris relics and the gold. Are they just going to go right into it, or are we going to no, get a break? No, they're going to they're going to re they're yeah. going to reissue. I'm telling you, they're going to reissue the first gens again yeah. for 25k because that's I mean, the okay. smart move. That'd be nice. That's the smart nice. move. I mean, you f- you figure hell's look at hellstorm maidens are. So they're going to have to bump up Odin's storm maidens to even be better than that. Even if they don't go back to the originals for the finish plus, they're definitely going to do another the, the other half of year as some random finish plus event like last time. They yeah, well, I would rather like the- not be. I'd rather they put some of the 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 the, the relics that we really like: Banner of War, um, Ring of Juice. Like oh, they've been I, doing I, that I, with I, the I, with the Lucky Clover, and there's a few others wow. now that were that were they're, they're going to be they're going to be pushed up to that level of you know universal and awesome relics and yep. those are the relics we need to have in events that are in between the meta because so, that's what really right. makes those events actually really good i want the tarhoons event to have other good things in it so don't rob us of good relics and put them in other other places please put them in the in between events otherwise those events so, are going to be completely you know pointless in my opinion for players that have been around the block at least so why w- with finish plus after twenty five thousand you couldn't put banner or ring of juice lucky clover all those for oh the next God. for the next five thousand and let us all collect those I'd take five of each of those okay, so they could do it easily I mean you know everybody goes after those and now and, and now that oh, vintage yeah. is, is declared that he loves the atom so much the Solom- the solomancer one will also fa- fit into that uh, that category as well so. <laughs> Like a twenty five k, you know, event just for that. But you get about twenty six k ring of juice, twenty seven banner of war, twenty eight low lucky clover, twenty nine. You know, keep going. Yeah, I mean, I'd take, I'd take a dozen of all those. Yeah, that they're all awesome relics. Oh, yeah, definitely agreed. Oh. You know what I think would also be another great idea? Besides from using Titans as uh, rewards for Relics of War, they could also put Synergy Relics in there as well. And I think that would be an interesting idea. Not may, Maybe not at the like lowest tier, but maybe for the upper tier. You can put Synergy Relics in there and don't put them in events by themselves, be- thinking that players are going to get them. Newer New release ones, understandable, but re-released or any of that kind of stuff... You could put them in for in Relics of War. The only reason I say that is because if players want them and they need them for a Titan that they have or gotten in, uh, from a token or who knows how you got this Titan and you don't have the Relics for them, if you put uh, Synergy Relics in at, what, like 40 Relics of War or whatever, there you go. I think that's another way that players would be more interested in actually using it. Yeah, the... I think they're going to come to the conclusion, I hope, this summer, that the vast majority of the Synergy stuff is just, it's underwhelming. I mean, there's a, there's a handful of things they've gotten very right, namely LifeSpark, Necrosa. But uh, most of the Synergy stuff's been like, uh, no thanks. And yeah, now they're putting synergies on stuff where unless the Titan itself gets a ridiculous reskill, the synergy is utterly. Yeah. Well, even that new Freya relic with the synergy, just garbage. Mm-hmm. So it still gets ran right over. Yeah, I mean, 
Frey gets run through now. Oh, there you go, yeah. No, Odin will not be 30k. What do you say in house? It's going to be both gods. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. But Odin won't be 30k. He's not going to be the actual 30k. Well, no, he'll be at 22,000, but the bow will be at 30k. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Actually, he'll be 21, 22, somewhere. I mean, if you don't, if the, the bow is a great relic if you don't have it. Hippodus says, I'd love Tesseract if it gave like three more Apex. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Vintage! Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, the problem with the Synergy, and again, it's a testament to how out of touch they are with how fast the meta is moving, is the fact that you take a Titan that was good, and then you add a Synergy, and it's not even close. You know, just, yeah. yeah. And I, I, I think it's kind of silly that they're adding synergy to the five stars. They shouldn't add it to a Titan. I mean, the whole idea of a five-star relic is that, you know, well, it's for that class of Titan. Well, that's why I actually right. like the way they did with the Norse, uh, the, the Taki. They did the right thing, including not just right. the, the Titans in the collection, but also all the rest of the Norse Titans. I think I thought that was good. Yeah, all doesn't include for, uh, for correct, but still, it includes more than just what's in the collection, which I I think. No, no, I, I get you. If I if, agree. if other relics like that as well, like Greek relics and stuff like that, you know, include yep. include the, the more. If it would just say all collection. Greek titans or all Norse titans, or just give it like a just a real easy handle for them to just include everything, and that will also include things in the future, which I think that right. would be smart. Just so you don't have to worry about it. I used to complain about relics like the banners that were restricted to one element. And the synergy relics are like the most extreme possible version of that. Where right. it's, it's, it, you're investing all of this relic leveling up food just so that you can get one titan... A specific set of buffs, and yeah. they they look great on their face, but you're always going to be constrained by the Titan in question and their position in the meta. And you know, in the case of the Uranus buffs on this Warrior's relic, you know, the thirty percent base damage looks great, but when you compare it to you know a lot of other Titans with the prestige skills and you know the current meta, that thirty percent is like a band aid on Uranus, and you add the seventy percent, so it becomes a hundred percent troop damage. Now you can ignore the, the Titan damage. Uranus himself is doing nothing in that fight, but a hundred percent troop base damage is not even close to getting him into the meta. And even if they do give him a significant buff and bring him out, you know, raging into the meta where this relic just kind of solidifies it all. You know, the the fact that it's tied to one Titan means yeah. that you're investing a lot in that one guy, and, you know, Titans come and go. Three or four weeks. Oh, thank what you, Mad you <laughs> I appreciate that. Cheers to you as well. 20 pounds. That'd be about 20. Yeah, basically, 20 the, uh, the uh, Uranus... Synergy Relic is approximately the Banner of Iron. Oh, good. Yeah, but name one Synergy that's been good. Well, I mean, the, the Life Spark and Necrosa were <laughs> done tired. very well. The problem is, is that the meta moves so freaking fast that they were suddenly trash again within like three or four weeks. Well, basically, when Necromancer hit, which was, I think, was like the next Titan. Yeah. See, and the thing is, some a lot of these synergies we're seeing now is they're they're invokes. If this, then that. Instead of just saying what what what, um, for instance, what Vintage is actually talking about specifically 
is the fact that the synergy on this, the life spark, spark of life, actually is just multiplying the skills that is already on the Titan from two to four. Right. That's not what we're Having. seeing right now on a lot of the synergies. We're seeing mostly invokes that are saying, if your troop dies, there's a percentage chance that something, something was going to happen. That's what he's getting at. So, well, not only that, but the the whole idea of synergy. Well, what I thought it was supposed to be, again, because they can't manage their freaking power creep. So imagine if Minerva was say twenty percent more powerful than Uranus. Okay, that's how you're managing your power creep, right? You got a couple generations of Titans in between. And Minerva today is about 20% more powerful than Uranus was when he was the man. Now you add a synergy relic like this. Hey, he's at least in the conversation. You know, yeah, he's not, he's still not as powerful as Minerva, of course, but at least he's useful, right? That's what I thought Synergy was going to be. I was like, oh my gosh, they can do all this cool stuff and make old Titans useful again and so forth. Man, it's just, they screwed it up. Well, and then there's also the whole prestige change without having to, some Titans are getting the just the prestige change with no skill change, which means it's retroactive, which is good. But then other Titans are getting skill changes, which means you do still have to get them because otherwise you're just not getting the same Titan. Sean M. Synergy is the chrome trim on a Chrysler town and country. <laughs> uh, silly. They also should have avoided doing synergy on five star tricksters, for example, performs less good now on everything that is not Loki, including all infiltrators from his time and before. Ed's channel says two thousand dollars. You're welcome, Zalon. What's up, Churro? So glad you're here. That's Ed's cha Ed channel's uh, super chat. Oh, uh, I yeah, I know. I like it. <laughs> He's got two thousand in Monopoly money and a fist bump. In a fist bump, yeah. <laughs> we accept Monopoly money. The devs clearly do. <laughs> I would like to give you a million dollars in Monopoly money. They'd be like, "All right, here's uh, some portal stones." <laughs> Obi Zod says if they're not going to add different upgradable troops, then change the armory to a fourth barracks once all troops are level 25. Hashtag level 50 problems. Yeah, I've, well, I've, I've mentioned this before with something that was brought up on past streams back in the day. That they can actually add more castle levels without actually adding levels to the troops, which means your troops still stay level 25. But you can add a castle level and add some buildings to upgrade. And... So, that is one thing that that is possible. Because I just went to fifty two and a half. Well, here's here's a thought. Say your castle goes to twenty six. Now the troops that you're building and training and taking out and fighting with stay at twenty five, but your garrison troops become level twenty six. Ooh, that's because, interesting. You know, we, we can't choose our garrison troops. No, and having one of each them. is stupid. So maybe that'd be a way to make it a little better, like make it closer to as good as an island defense. Yeah, there you go. Um, not, how, not only that, we, we if you hit level 26, I get to put an extra relic on. Castle 26, put, you actually I, get to I, choose your troops. You, you get, or you get to put a relic on. You get to put a relic on the castle. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For to put instance, another relic on. Yeah, players that may not do this at all, and that is uh, 
your uh, on your what is it your troops and your spells uh, buildings your you can put on different uh, yeah, the barracks, you know the, different the uh, actual relics on the building it would be interesting if they did come out with a small a small not doesn't have to be a lot but a small line of relics that were for castle that would be interesting all right so here's now that we're brainstorming <clears throat> here's the latest idea for what i think is the next big system that this game needs, which probably wouldn't be that hard for them to do. It's a badge system where you earn badges to get points that can be spent for things in inside of your little badge, you know, altar kind of like just the way the Pantheon exists. You have your own little badge window. And... Some of the badges would be things like earn 5 million VP in a week, you know? Or it could be that there's a building they create which just lets you earn badge points, you know, and, and that's there for your level 50, you know, Castle 25 players. You know, it's basically an upgrade that you keep churning, you know? Or it could be that you have an extra upgrade of each of your troops that you can keep on doing, and that gets you a badge point that you can use for specific purposes inside of the badge window. And it would be things that would be not really game-breaking. Like, you could maybe spend some badge points to just add plus 1% base health to all your titans. Or plus 1% base damage to all your titans. Or, you know, spend twice as many badge points to get... Thank you, Sean. You know, all berserkers give you plus 1% additional base damage, you know, to all troops. Or you could do silly things like free land refreshes. Yeah. You get a okay. free refresh of the monuments and the uh, arenas. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yes, oh, those could those. easily portal, be portal stones. You can cash them in and get a five hundred portal stones or something like that. Right. Okay. Give away things that people can use. To things like yes, yeah. you could add them to the alliance rewards at the end of the week, so that you create a new currency system that just it's easy to reward players by giving them more badge points. You know, you could even have colors of badge points if you want to make it a whole complicated system. But you know, tons of other games have things like that where you're rewarding players for activity. You know, mm-hmm. and the, to me, it, it occurred to me because I was looking at my VP this week. I was like, wow, I'm at like four million VP. That's pretty good for me. And I was thinking, well, I don't know if I've ever pushed for 5 million VP, you know, more than a few times, because there's really no reward to VP, aside from just contributing to the team, and, you know, either you're hitting a minimum or you're leading on your team. And season rewards have been the same for so long! Well, even aside from season rewards, that's a team thing. Like, there's no individual milestone that you get, like, oh, you hit 5 million VP. Yeah, my my name's Nitrum, and I've been number one globally before. Did I get get uh, anything for it? No. Like, like Prometheus, all right, you get get 10 million VP, here's 100 VP. Yeah, Yeah, but it doesn't doesn't even have to be, like, you know, a currency that's already in the game. It could could be some special, you know, it, it, it... it wouldn't even have to actually do anything for you. It could be totally cosmetic. Yeah. There could be well, and I was just going to say, that. remember when you could get gold castles from uh, yeah. Star Wars? Yeah. Dude, what about castle skins? And here's the castle skin I want. I want mine to look like a big pile of trash. <laughs> that's, that's the castle skin I want. <laughs> like a, castle bunch castle of, I want. a bunch of one-star want, relics piled up? <laughs> I want... I want <laughs> I want my castle to have the skin where it looks like it's always on fire. Yes. There you so go. You have to actually click on it to see whether I'm actually being attacked or not. Ooh, I want mine <laughs> to be, be a dragon's lair, like like a cave with bones outside of it, where you know something like something's going on. Like there's definitely some some craziness going on. I just okay. Well, if that's the case. I just want mine always in a red bubble. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's in a bubble. But it's not actually in a bubble. You have to click on it just to find out. Ooh. That would, I've, hit, I've hit lands like that. Damn, I've definitely hit lands that were bubbled, and it still let me attack the land. Vanity yeah. things are a huge driver of spending in a ton of games. Why do they not have someone developing I would those things? Totally. 
I would totally spend money on castle skins. Mm-hmm. You know, and have one that looks like a, a kid playground or something. That'd be hilarious. Have a VP skin that makes your VP lands look Casino like Casino skin. Oh. I like that Casino one. Casino that just can't. Something that looks like Candyland. Yeah. Oh my god. A casino skin. <laughs> right? No. Yeah. Yeah, I want my uh, castle to look like a slot machine. Right. <laughs> my God. The big takeaway is it doesn't have to be big rewards, but players like rewards. Well, it gives the level 50 guy something to do. Yeah. I mean, you exactly. know, why am I hitting, you know, food lands, right? <laughs> but if, I'm, if uh, I can accrue VP or, you know, have some kind of earning system like, hey, you hit 100 battles, here's 10 tokens. And then it cost right. me, you know, 10 tokens to get my castle skin or whatever, right? After after 50 and you built everything, it's boring. You give players more gold. Yeah, there's still there's still an game. extra, there's still a piece of land still on everybody's map, you know, that's unused. What are we going to do with that? Right. In a lot of ways, the game actually encourages players to to not evolve the way that they look. You know, it's like, I just came across um, a player who had all his uh, ping pong lands still chained from when you could chain your lands down. I mean, Prometheo, yeah. somebody messaged me the other day land. and said they saw a crystal land. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Well, the, uh, so yeah, I've seen they're still down in bronze. There, there's, there are these entire alliances that you, you cannot click on their lands, but they're there. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, when I set out the Horde Apocalypse, I went exploring down in the low leagues. There's all kinds of bizarre you, you, crap. You, down there. you jumped so, into your but, submarine and went down real deep. Well, wait, wait, yeah. wait. The, the chain lands were right around Throne Wars, weren't they? That's how it was far Throne Wars. That's how far back it goes. Right? Yeah. Well, no, the shard lands are from way before that. Yeah, shard lands is from Beta. Yeah, well, I know. The one thing I do want to bring up, just because we're talking about things that happened a long time ago, they actually gave no notice whatsoever that you were going to be able to take your Titans from level 50 to 60. One day, I logged into the game, and there was just a notice that came up and said, you can now level your Titans to 60, and this is how you do it. And I was like, (laughs) this game is crazy. How is this possible? Yeah. Well, and and there's another thing about the game is... You know, the decision-making cycle, just, it seems like a lot of stuff is decided arbitrarily because the communications that we receive are so last minute. And if there was just more transparency and more planning done, you know, you don't have to do much more for the game, but just sit down. The calendar has been their only real step towards that. Has been Exactly. The- more transparency and then involve players early in, you know, okay, now we have a plan for the next two months. Let's loop in five players to talk about this, you know, and we're going to show you our calendar for the next two months and, you know, just give us your feedback. They don't even have to decide anything. You know, if the company just listened to players, you know, before they released stuff, then you know that they would hear what we're saying better and there would be less mistakes made. Mm-hmm. B-Hulk says, that's why I want to be able to do damage to the castle if not successfully defended. Earn badges that help you repair the damage. Interesting. I really like the idea of castle skins, and I, I think if you could spend points to get a skin for one week, then that would really motivate people. That would be cool. Just like the titles that you guys used to be able to get with through your uh, Throne Wars. With Throne Wars, yeah, the titles, which again exist in the game, which can be used 
if the developers would so want to choose to do so. Mm-hmm. Gentlemen, I gotta go. It was a pleasure. Nice Prometheo, thank you for joining. Yeah, Prometheo. Have a good night. For grinding out all the three stars. I saved all the three stars. Uh, like I said, I bought two packs, and I, I did a bunch of pools already. But uh, I think we're getting close to finishing them up, so we'll see. As soon as we do so, though, why do I keep hitting the relic? This one and maybe one more? Two more. One more. All right. <laughs> one more. And then uh, we'll see where we're at soul-wise. I think I started around 6,000. Yeah, Sean M, we try. Do we can. <laughs> it's very true, Sean M. Sean M says, I can't really bother romanticizing the idea that the devs actually care until they get back to live streaming themselves. Until I see Matt, Dom, and The Hague... This game is solely alive because of YouTube. Yeah, when it comes down to what you what you see for between players putting out information such as like leaks or um, uh, like blog post information, stuff like that, Q and A's or battle videos or uh, live streaming with uh, you know new titans or any any of the stuff that all all the DOT community YouTubers uh, put out there, excluding. Hacking videos. Um, it's all, it's all, you know, still rolling along just as it always has. If not, even a little bit more. I've seen a lot of good new content coming out from a lot of different uh, YouTubers, including new, new, vintage, new, new videos from Vintage, as well as uh, Soldier coming back to. Oh, it's it, it. There's been a lot of good stuff coming out recently. The only thing that's been missing a, a little bit has been Godan. I, I, I I've, you know, miss Godan's. Uh, Content. Also, Darshigon's been putting out a lot of good stuff recently, too, of course. Godan's working. I know. But, but, if you want, if you want to, you know, get your fill, guys, go check out Bobby Runa. Wait, who? Bobby Runa. Who's Bob, who's Bobby Runa? Uh, you're going to have to check it out yourself, go on. Figure it out. Figure it out. Bobby Runa, he's, he's back. <laughs> All right. A lot of content, Salon. All right, but I also House House and Chance have their own channel too, as well. Hey, yeah, we got like a hundred subscribers, I think. Mm-hmm. No, I was gonna. I, not this week. I, I'm, I'm going on vacation. Oh, you're not gonna. You're not doing one for the ever Durvin? Come on, House. I'm I'm on vacation. I'm leaving Sunday. Uh, oh, where are you going, House? Going away with the wife. Well, where are you going now? Uh, I won't be back till uh, <laughs> Wednesday night. <laughs> but is it is we're going it? Down, we're, we're we're going down Laughlin for the few days. Loft, but uh, is, Laughlin, Nevada. Oh, Nevada. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna go gamble and hang out. We haven't spent much time with each other because lockdown. Yeah, well, that's nice. And uh, and and of course, uh, are you gonna be playing poker when you say gambling? Uh, are you gonna be playing I'm blackjack? Black, black black blackjack and crab. Ah, oh, see that's uh, there you go. I like the dice. Oh, you like the dice? You get those hot dice? The di- yeah, they're easy to win on. The dice is easy to win on. Poker's kind of intimidating if you're not. Yeah, playing you got guys like Vincent somebody. sitting at the table. You got to watch exactly, out. Exactly. Exactly. You got to exactly watch out. You do. Honestly, you do. He's looking across at you. What are you doing? Yeah, he pounds on the table. Make your move. <laughs> what are you? Wait a minute. I thought this was my money. What, what do you play? You play blackjack house. Huh? I play blackjack house. That's why I sit on the on the uh, on the cruise when it eventually happens. I'll sit at the table with you. But I, but I love dice, though. 
Oh, as well as Vegas, as long as you're going to be there when I'm there. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Oh, Extinction wants to know when you're streaming again, then. Uh, I, I might try tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. All right, House. Yeah, I mean, I got to get it in because uh, otherwise... You do have to You have to get it in yeah. weekly. If you don't get it in weekly, yeah, House, your fans, Chance. you lose the fans. D found yeah, out the hard Chance. way. You know what I mean? Chance is going to have a fit. Oh, you're not streaming. The only reason I mentioned D is because she sometimes, occasionally, she'll come out of nowhere and want to stream... And then she's like, why isn't anybody showing up? And I'm like, well, there's a thing called consistency. <laughs> That's all. So. Yeah, you're pretty consistent every Friday. Well, I try to be. I try to be. Go away with go away with Prince D, which I understand. Well, that's why I try to stream on Thursdays if I can, if, if that's the case. Yeah, but otherwise you're pretty consistent. But it doesn't matter. Even though, you know, I try to do my best to help D out. If she does ever want to stream. Or anybody. A chance that he's going to have someone special on Sunday or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He texted what is that, BMT? Me. BMT, you streaming tomorrow? BMT? Oh, maybe. No, maybe. I think he has to tag our channel. I think BMT did. Yeah, soldier. Soldier knows the waves, but see, this is the thing though. There's, there's always new people. And my, soldier's also very, Sol, soldier's also very good at um, getting his uh, his content out to as many different uh, uh, platforms as possible. So he posts on Facebook. He posts on everything. You know, pr- the Reddit pages, I'm sure, and uh, <laughs> Discord, all the different Discords. <laughs> My space, uh, you know, soldiers all over everything. <laughs> no, hey. <laughs> Bless you. Jim. <laughs> Jesus. Jim, 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 I went for the pigtails. Oh, oh, I don't know if Vintage is there. I think he ha- he, he might be busy, um, but he's on mute. But the uh, Vintage posted in his, uh, oh, there's Chorito. Um, vintage posted in his... Uh, what is it? Community uh, page uh, that he's doing braids, Viking braids, and he wants to know if he should do four Viking braids or three Viking braids. I want to know what 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 became of this. Did you make a decision? I put pigtails. Yeah, I know. I saw you put that. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> like I would go with pigtails. <laughs> if he shows up with pigtails, I'd laugh. Must be on the grill. Yeah, he must be on the grill. He's probably yelling at his phone that's on mute in the background. I'm on the grill. Yeah. Exactly. What's up, little ant? Thank you for joining. Uh, where are you thinking of bringing Everter Z? Like P4, P7, or just P1 and done? I'm gonna P1 and then see what's up. So we'll see what happens. I got it at P4 right now. And I leveled a new relic. Uh, what is that? Tesseract? Oh, yeah. The Tesseract is nice. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. I, I leveled that one and the console insignia. Yeah. I would do that, too. Oops. I do appreciate 43 people watching, of course, on this Friday Night Live stream. For all the people re-watching after the fact, thank you for staying with us all this time. Hopefully, this has been fun listening to while you've been grinding. We're going to grind out the rest of this three-star relic. And then uh, after that, I'll do a couple, at least two, well, probably three, three event relic pulls just to get a few done here on stream just because... Usually have better luck while I'm live streaming. I always say that because that usually is true. Thank you, Shauna. 
Where are you at right now? Well, that's let me check. Oh, hold on. Let me do that. Uh, thirteen three. So that's not bad. I haven't collected anything from the actual event itself. So of course, not bad, not bad. Like I said, I want to try to get up to twenty two and then straight grind the rest with uh, Everter. So of course, these relics. Three more battles. Oh, my portal stones will be perfect. Like I said, be able to uh, pull a few more relics. Just now, I'll probably I'll I'll be grinding with those after the stream. Yeah, but yeah, bottle stay for. Uh... Yeah, I have a few. I got three, four stars, probably like nine or ten, three stars, a bunch of two stars. Yeah, I'll I'll take Everter up. Uh, I'm probably not maxing uh, until later next week. What I, what I can tell you when, is when you get them into the fifties alone and you're attacking twenty five level PP lands, it, it is so fast. It's like attacking level nine or ten lands because the spells, because of the damage, they drop and it clears out everything. I can't. I can't imagine doing conquest with them. Wow. Soldier says, "Just grab Everder. Going to grind with him tomorrow. Nice." Soldier, does that mean you're going to live stream again tomorrow? Ball out. Soldier's got a little bit of that time. It's nice. There is a little bit of a. Uh, uh, yearly uh on and off times for all different jobs and it is nice every once in a while to see some people that do have more availability than others um well this guy's been streaming a little bit more i've seen what soldier has and so and so is so is churrito what's up churro churrito churro has yeah i'm very proud of you churro for stepping back up hardcore thank you yeah, I'm not always able to join your streams because I've been passing out kind of early because of work, but I always wake up in the morning and I look at my phone and I see, ah, Churro streamed. I'm like, good man, Churro, good man. And then I'm like, ah, <laughs> got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. Yeah, dude, I miss streaming, bro. But yeah, and it's good because when I when I look at it, it, there's always over a hundred views every time when I wake up and I look oh, at it. I'm like, so I'm like, awesome. I'm like, I'm like, oh well, it, I, I'm like, even though I wasn't able to be there, I know other people were, and that's good because he's covering an audience that obviously needs great content. So mm -hmm. I I get up and I'm like to go out in the field. I'm like, throw to stop streaming like two hours ago. Like, what the hell are you doing? To one thirty at two thirty in the morning. <laughs> That's it. That's the only time. That's the time slot, man, available. And, and then, you know, house. You guys know. I know. I know. And stuff, you know. So then I get on yeah. and chance. But uh, like, oh, there's chance. <laughs> yeah. I know, man. Oh, dude, but I missed it, dude. It was rough not being able to stream like uh, consistently and like uh, you know had the improvised set and that really was not as very you know as very cool as I would have loved it to be, but you know. Whatever, you know, and it's back, and I'm stoked. Um, I'm just glad. I, I just like the fact that there's that time slot available, you know. So it's oh, like, well, yeah, most I definitely true. Yeah. And there's a lot of yeah. people that live on the West Coast that want somebody to stream, you know. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And I mean, also, like really also in other countries too. Here, You're also getting other people from other countries too. So you know, well, you know, you know what's on werewolf in our in our in our league once everyone to stream 24 hours. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just, I sure just on the, sure, man. sure on those. I'm talking about. Yeah, man. <laughs> guy, man. If you want a team player, you want well, you want that guy, dude. He's, yeah, he, he he's is. On. Every two All minutes, day. he's on. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, who's streaming? A little late. I don't know when he's gonna <laughs> then, be yeah. live streaming again. Uh, great guy, man. I love that guy, man. Soldier, great, soldier great guy. says Sunday morning he's gonna do a live stream on Facebook and YouTube Dude. at the same time. So he can capture his yeah. audience on both of them. And he's going to do one for Transformers Earth Wars and one for DOT. Wow. He's a, he's a hard worker. Oh. 
He's got he's no, got Joe Transformers, Earth Wars addicts, and he's also got DOT addicts. He's going to be managing <laughs> both both the sites and running games that he's been playing uh, for a very long time on both. See, the crazy thing is, even though Soldier has been not making YouTube content for Dawn of Titans for a little while, I can vouch for the fact that Soldier completes and or participates in because a lot of these in between events, I'm just hitting like you know. Uh, four or five k you know what i mean and some of the soul mens are only like two or three and some of them so he's either hitting soul mens and getting top 100 like the rest of us are or he's getting the meta titans so during this whole time that he's been away i know he's been playing the game because he's been in ntg war with me this for the last few months so just that's that that's the one good thing so his spp account of course obviously is uh is one thing, but his main account that's in, in NTG War is still uh, active Super and has meta. actually <laughs> has the Titans that we're playing with as everybody else is playing with as well. So it's not like he's behind the meta or doesn't know what's going on, which is great because some players yeah. that leave the game for a while and then come back, they feel a bit overwhelmed, and it's not the case in Soldier's uh, position. He was just, of course, when it comes down to work, as everyone knows, some some times of the year are busier than others. But it's great to have him back. I, yeah, I, I, I was just beating up on Jason Jerome's castle a couple of minutes ago. Oh well, JJ, <laughs> yo, listen, send him a P- yo, listen, Hal, send him a PM, send him a PM, and say that that that, that, that uh, Zalon's uh, YouTube live stream misses him. So uh, he, he's, oh, in the, he's, in the, that guy. he's in the same league as us, Zalon. You Is he really? Yeah. He's in a, he's in a eternal. Okay. I got a bunch of PP lands, Alon. Are you? Uh, obviously, you're playing, so I'm gonna hit you right now. Don't worry. Oh, actually, right. I, already, I, already I just hit. I just finished <laughs> out that relic, so let me just see real hey, quick. Sure, sure. Uh, don't worry. I already hit his castle. Oh, you no, hit my castle? castle? <laughs> I did. Oh, stop it! <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zalon. Oh, Zalon, you cracked me I, up. I had to see if the new Titan could do it. It did. Oh wait, my castle? Yeah, I had to see if Everdeer would do it. Oh, I can't. I can't even see it. It's not even on my list. See, it's not it's on, long. It, it was right when you first started streaming. Oh, I was hoping, oh, yeah. I was hoping you'd see it burn. Mm. <laughs> uh, hey, Zalon, you were talking about some sort of whiskey with peanut butter or whatever. Yes. It's called. Scro- please, it's called uh, Screwball. It's peanut butter whiskey. It's S K R E W B A L L. What is this? Yeah, go ahead and look it up. Like Google it. There. Google it. Use use everybody's favorite Google thing. It. Google it. Google it. <laughs> like the Brits would say. Yeah, use the Google. Google. Why don't you search it with the Google? <laughs> it sounds more like uh, speaker face. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Search, with the, search yeah. with the Google. Yeah. That sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's speaker face? Wait yeah. a minute. Hey. He's asleep right now, dude. It's like 6 a.m. over there. <laughs> it's so no, it's, right. it's, four, it's, it's 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's about, about the only thing I can say that's kind of like speaker face. I can't do it, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's also okay. funny to hear the Brits say stuff that's like, you know, say things that are with their best say, English, with their sure. best American accent. It's very funny. Yeah. Oh, oh, and sorry to say, and he's not hasn't been in the stream tonight, but uh, Polo has decided to retire or take a hiatus from the game. It's either either hiatus or retirement. It's uncertain, but he says he's stepping back from the game for right now. Um, and he was thanking everybody, uh, so I I let him know in the in my it, this was uh, announced at least in my Discord chat. Uh, and I, yeah, I, so I, I, I think said he's got. Th- well, we'll see, we'll see. But he would do that you know, every well, once in a while on my streams. He lost that one turn on his- Event token. That's why he wants to quit. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think he's. I think he has things too with being. You know what? With being laid off from work and everything, not being able to work and all that. When they locked him oh, yeah. down. Yeah. They screwed up. But he's always been pretty lives. free to play, though. He's always been free to play. Yeah, not one still, dime in man. five years. God, hey, I wish, wish I could say the same. Me too. So my wife just came in. My wife just came in and she goes, you spent $120. I'm like, don't even start. 
<laughs> what does she have it up on the? Does she have it up on her device, like showing it to you? Like no, 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 no. It comes up on the it comes up on the account, Apple Pay, and then she's mm. like, "I only spent thirty seven dollars on Candy Crush." I'm like, "Okay, mm. where are we comparing here?" Sounds like it. Mm-hmm. Are we compare, comparing here? Here, here's what a pack. Here's what a pack costs: fourteen dollars. You know what you get for fourteen dollars? Nothing. You get like you get another what? two star relic. What do, you, what do you get? Two, no, say you buy one pack, you got two thousand sold. What is, what is so, it? That one? Uh, no, three thousand. Three thousand. I, yeah, I get a Deadwood shield for three thousand <laughs> for one pack. <laughs> I heard you were excited about uh, this. Or two hundred portal know, stones. You know what? I, I, le- I level it up and I put it on the new Titan. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> He's rolling through people because I got the Deadwood Shield. Deadwood Shield, baby. See that? Okay, this is another topic that drives me nuts, right? So we see all these two stars. Why don't we see the three and four star versions of them? You know? I wish yeah, they, I wish they would. Yeah, you know? Good, good luck, Gerald. I know. Good I know. luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Same thing with like uh, what's the other one? Uh, the Book of Storms. That's another one. I can have a two, a three, and four star. Yo, tell her Candy Crush has no meta, says Sean M. <laughs> <laughs> this is... She thinks she thinks it does. Does it have a meta? She's, I don't know. You buy you buy some stupid big candy cane. You run around and crush things with it. I'm like, you spent eight dollars on that. Are you kidding me? Well, it probably has an Adderall meta so that people can play it faster. <laughs> oh my god. Twos and ones. That are all meta, dude. Oh. Yeah. Ain't no joke. When that game first came out, people were hooked, dude. Dude, I, I, I gear, she's on level like 15,000 15, or something. She's been playing it for like six or seven years. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. That's when uh, mobile games were new. Remember when Angry Birds was good? Oh, yeah. there it is. Dude, yes. Because there was so just so nothing fun. else. Come on, nothing else. Three star, four she, star. She don't get, she, but she don't get it. She's like, "How do you spend one hundred twenty dollars in like <sighs> half hour?" And I'm like, "Like this. okay, okay, just like this." Thumbprint. Like exactly. It's just like ding ding because you know you got to face face thing that double tap on the iPad, mm-hmm. and she don't get it. She's like, "Oh, okay, well," because I'm not understanding. You're already done, and I'm like, "Well, yeah." You're you're already done the event. I don't know. Yeah. What? Okay. Whatever. Well, just like I was saying earlier. Well, you need a. I, she was telling me I need a purse for my outfit. And I'm like, what do you, mean you need a purse for your outfit. That sounds very lady like. All right, house. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna Whatever, do this, I'm, I'm gonna do this one more three star, and then we're gonna wrap up for tonight. So, oh, I'm gonna go set up. All right, and then Churro's gonna live stream right after I'm finished. Yes, I don't, I don't argue anymore. Yeah, me either, dude. I learned this. I learned this. Just, just give in. Yep, that's it. I'm always wrong, and I'm ready to clean the house. <laughs> and I'm ready exactly. to clean the house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's, that's it, me. man. It's not worth the argument anymore. It is. It isn't. It It isn't. Just say, you know what? You're right. You'll stay married forever. You'll stay married forever. Yep. Yep. Come on, House's Guide to Marriage. Subscribe today. House and Chance. Yeah, exactly. Just agree. You're being selfish. You're right. Buy him a purse. Or buy him a bag of popcorn and hang out and watch him. Uh... Not worth the look argument at, anymore. Look at, look at that's why vintage is always cooking. Take care okay, of that, Yoda. <laughs> okay, babe, got this. I got dinner. Don't worry about it. Just sit back and relax. Mm-hmm. Yep. I got dinner. What do you want? Yeah, that's right. That's why I hit the I hit the full throttle when I drive home. It's so Christian real quick. <clears throat> oh, well, well if, if you're in my shoes, you you cook dinner for the family out of self defense. <laughs> no one else can cook, so uh, I. Cook. Well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're outnumbered too, right? Oh, he is. It's, huh? it's it's all girls. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're you're done. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're done. Poor, uh, geez, this is the worst. Poor no one did Bernie Hamilton's he, he, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah vintage is rocking the only testosterone in the house. So. Exactly. <laughs> he ain't got a chance. <laughs> oh man. Uh, They're like, I mean, what's I mean, for dinner? He's like, meat. <laughs> <laughs> Steak, burgers, brats, something like that. Yeah. Uh, That's too good. Wow. Protein. <laughs> right? Protein? <laughs> and then on the weekends, I make breakfast too. Jeez. Because I, I, I freaking love eggs, right? You know, oh, yep, yep. It's, a, it's the only time I have, you know, only chance I have time to actually make, like, a good egg breakfast. Hash browns, the whole shooting match, you know. Mm. Yeah, that's why I like having a good breakfast on the weekend. It's just because it's such an emotional trip. <laughs> I love breakfast, dude. I, well, I, I, always, I, have, I always have a, a good nice breakfast coffee. when I'm around Princess Z. That's when I, that's when I have good oh, breakfast. That's when I, I, I go out because she always wants to make breakfast with me. So I'm always down for that. So that's when I have my mm-hmm. best breakfasts. I do that every once in a while. We buy, I, I have a uh, pretty cool Blackstone griddle out back that I do all that on. Actually, you could throw everything on that griddle. Everything. Yeah. Well, if hopefully not your device. Third, third, Don't drop your device uh, on what, there. What, House is like I was grinding while I was burns. making stuff on the griddle. <laughs> no. Well, if he pulls a fourth pole axe, the uh, the device will end up on the griddle. Oh, on the griddle. No, exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like you said, it's gonna have wings. <laughs> yeah. So House's neighbors like. So I found this phone in my lawn. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Like it's a shooting star. Nope, it's House's device. That's I mean, what it is. That's right. That's, that's like that's that's the iPad going through. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's lodged in the ground like it's a uh, what's it called? Like a uh, a sword in the stone. He told you. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, it's the sneaky secret to life. When you're in a house full of women that don't cook, guess what? We get to pick. What we eat. Mm-hmm. That's why we cook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Look, honey, it's a salad with a little bit of chicken on it. Yeah. No, no. I want a chicken with a side of beans. <laughs> That's why Vintage is speaking softly so no one can hear. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, this <laughs> is the <laughs> secret. <laughs> it is the secret. <laughs> <clears throat> We uh, we See did my father in law's uh, birthday last night, Lent. and uh, I made a whole tenderloin. Jeez, dude! Oh my god! So tomorrow it's steak and eggs. Oh baby! So churro, how, gonna, churro, how far? Are we churro stream? Well, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. I'm setting up. Right now. Oh, churro setting up. Man. Churro. I was curious. Isn't here, so it's. Huh? I was curious, churro. How far along in the uh, event are you right now? Uh, I'm at eight point two right now. Okay. A little behind, but so, the stream. Churro is gonna take us into Saturday, right? No, oh, churro, yeah. churro wants the war. I do. I, I'm, I'm kind of tired of these dead weeks, dude. Oh, this has been dead. I'm like over it, man. <laughs> I'm like, let's have a push week or something. Let's do something. Let's just start hitting the garrisons. We're all about to have Everdoor. Might as well, you know, put them to good use. We haven't pushed it. We haven't pushed in a couple months. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's been about two. I've been with you guys for what three months now. <laughs> it's been it's been a minute. Let's see. Oh. Up in a little bit. That goes away. I feel like next week could be a good candidate. It's theaters of war mm-hmm. in Tar. Oh, yeah, yeah. I right? I'll there be. I know. I'll be I heavily know. We, considering theaters of war 
putting in 10,000 gems if okay. if the relics are good in the Tarhoons event. So it, I mean there's a few players that are that in our alliance that put up huge VP numbers. I mean that yeah. Musta- that Mustafa and then also that that Him and Buddy that, dude. Yeah, but no that that uh who's the other guy? Robot Unicorn? They put up huge VP numbers before. Yeah, we lose them, man, because we just got to keep that activity going. It's crazy, you know. I, I know that our streams, you know, there, you know, we do a lot of constructive criticism, but dude, there is a lot of activity in this game still. People, people still ready to put in the VP just for that, um, that companionship, man. Everyone's just trying to hang out, have a good time, and stuff. There's also know? a lot of people that were putting in the uh, the souls for the solo event for the because they wanted to get the staff. I, I yeah, saw yeah. I saw a lot of names up there that I recognized yeah. Oh, yeah. in this last oh, yeah. event. Yeah. There's and then there was people that got the DGs and didn't spend them. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm true, like, House. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Yeah. Uh, uh, you did it, you did all that and then it didn't pull it. Nope, I had second guess. Second, well, we'll see what happens. Vintage may still do it. it, it nah, you know, if, if the if the DG is. Titans aren't there, he that that would be my first choice. If if I was vintage, tell you what, yeah, I mean, I'm either gonna do, I'm doing one of two things. I'm either waiting, or I'm gonna spend three hundred bucks P10 Minerva and get it. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> so we, maybe we could do a live coin flip for it or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, what, what will vintage do? You know what? You know what? Let's go back full circle. You did what you get for hundred dollars. You might as well do what you get for three hundred. There you go. So <laughs> I'll put it, I'll put it to the chat. Do you guys? Would you vote on a poll <laughs> on my channel to do one or the other? <laughs> Wait or go crack in and just do all of it? No, I, 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 I'm going for wait. I, 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 I'm voting. I pulled. I don't know, dude. Honestly, for me, it's like they're they're they're. I, I honestly believe that they're never gonna have divine uh, titans like life spark and uh, necrosis ever again. So it's like just investing. The- <laughs> oh come on, Churro, give us some hope. Wait a minute. No, not, Wait a minute. Not. That's that's because no. Churro's only got three hundred divine gems. <laughs> yeah, I got. I, I got seventy-seven in the bank right now. They're never going to come out again. It's done, dude. It's done. So just pull the 8K, bro. Save yourself a headache. Seventy-seven, dude. Bro, they got it right with those two guys, man. Those two characters, dude. They 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 did really well, but it's 70, like. Did you say seventy-seven? Just That's a big playing. number, just, dude. I'm at at least a little bit hundred right now, right? You'll be just, proud of just, me. Just quit playing the game. Here's, the what game. I, here's what I fear, so. Churro. And I, I think you might be onto something here. My fear is that whoever was the balance guy, I think he might have been like a temp intern or something. Bro, yes. Because they got it so right for like three or four months, and then it went all to hell. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing. That's also, and I'm going to piggyback off that comment because that's my biggest belief when it comes to, uh, to metas and the transitions. I always feel that something's going on where it's all project-based. They get a team. And then, like, that team contract is over, and then now there's a transition with refills and uh, refills, reskills. And then all of a sudden, we get, like, a new thing, and it's like, there's, there, it just doesn't ever make sense. A right. biggest example. There is a lot of example. Continuity. You're right. Yeah. You know, so biggest <laughs> example, again, the War God meta. Best age in this game ever. Everything made sense, dude. The only reason people weren't going for the gold relics was because everybody was so scared to pull, you know, 7K for them. But if you were pulling those, those were the relics to have at the time. But no one pulled them because it was just like, ah, oh, dude, 7K, Divine Gems, that's a lot. But every single every single Titan that was released within that meta was always complementing something else. But it never overpowered it, and it was never you never were shy, of, you know, from anything. And then what happened? They completely pooped on this game, and then they sent out Zababa, and now we're back at ground zero. And now it's just been like, okay, the Titans still continue to look great. They still look cool, whatever. The the prestiges are like a little bit more tailored to the Titan. 
but it's like, dude, the transition from one meta to another is not what it ever, you know, it's not the greatest. But why? It's, it's always a lack of communication. There's got to be something going on internally. And that's just because, and that's me just thinking, you know. Again, dude, you know, I totally buy your theory. Theory, Because it makes all the sense in the world. Just total lack of continuity from one era yeah. to the next. One meta has, you know, one meta has, like, the whole, like, uh, you know, uh, what's, what's the word for it? Um, they got the, you know, the backstory to everything. And then we go, like, a couple metas with no backstory. And all of a sudden, the Archmage just had this epic story of, like, things exploding. And, oh, I'm under this rubble. And help me, uh, like, make, get my hair under this rock and stuff like that. And then next meta, we probably will never see another bullet in anything about a story. And then all of a sudden they'll go back to a story. And it's like, dude, what's going on here? Come on. Like, there's got to be a level of consistency. And because of that, from so many years of playing this game, I'm just like, dude, it's got to be a project-based thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There's there's different groups and certain projects are way better than others. And Mm -hmm. if you remember from the the dev live streams oh so long ago, they used to have a thing called Freeform Friday where at work – they would work on stuff that was not stuff that they that their regular projects that they were normally tasked to, and certain things would get worked on, such as oh, uh, adding certain buttons and oh, uh, you know, uh, adding the uh, um, uh, Adventurers Guild uh, missions and stuff like certain little side projects that certain developers decided to take on on their Freeform Fridays. That was just something that I I specifically remember from the dev live streams from back yeah. a few years ago. Well, I'm, I'm still I'm still waiting for the Bo and Zalon after show. Is that coming back? Mm, uh, Dude, oh I talked God. to Bo today. I talked to Bo today because <laughs> so I sent him a good. picture of the screwball whiskey, and I was like, "Did you tell me about this?" Somebody sent me a picture of that this uh, peanut butter whiskey and asked me if I've ever tried it before, and I forgot who it was, and I thought it was Bo. How is Bo doing, dude? I, 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 well, it, the conversation didn't get past just asking if he was the one that, that showed that to me, and he said no. And then I started live streaming pretty much soon, very, very soon after <laughs> that. So, good. What? Our, our conversation didn't get so too far. I'm not getting Dude. an after show. Zalon, let me tell you something, bro. That when I first started me? playing this game, mm-hmm. uh, the Zalon and uh, Bo after show, or whatever it's called, mm-hmm. that always pop up, right? And I was always really hesitant to like click on your link because I thought you guys would be like, those obnoxious YouTubers that would just be like laughing and farting and like doing all these stupid things in the stream, in the stream. Then I was like, okay, you know what, dude, this keeps popping up. It's probably going to be good. And no joke. After the one time I saw you guys live, I was like, this is awesome. Like the breakdowns and like you guys, you know, being super cool with each other and like, you know, being excited about the event and just talking about the Titans. I'm like, man, this is way better. It was, it was a great time, dude. It was like a, it was like, I felt like it was like a live well, podcast. You, you know, know why Bo and I started doing it, and it was more on his. It was we started it on his channel. I brought it up to him, saying, "Hey, we should go on YouTube and make videos for our our non toxic three alliance because I want all of our players to be on the same page, and just saying stuff in chat doesn't mean that everybody really knows what's going on. So that's very true. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's very true because I, uh, you know, I was at the this, that one team of Steve. It's actually really good, years. Nixon. <clears throat> and uh, you, you can chat so much in in like the live chats and the fan chat chats and everything, but it's not really until you get into the live streams where you can actually display what you're talking about that you you can actually you know get people to stay updated with the game and stuff like that. You know, um, I don't know, it's crazy stuff, it's fun stuff. Who's your who's your, who's your Steak? Oh, stop it. Don't give me that crap. Who's a Steeg? Who's a Steeg? We, we, yes. we found you on the street corner and brought you yep. to the real game. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> can I have some time? <laughs> Excuse yeah. me, sir. Can I have some wow, prestige this guy's food? Got five stars. Yeah. Let's pick him up. <laughs> Level 50. All right, we so can get him. There's two yeah. things we're going to do before the end of the stream. I just want to take my portal stones down a little bit so they can generate. Um, but anyway, two two things we're gonna do. One, we're gonna take the Archmage's staff and max it out. But we're also gonna use our poison yes. token and see what four star we got in from this event. Oh. Well, well, five poison: three. Venom Tusk, Akosi, Sakani, Arca, and Meku. So there's only five options. Wait a, number three, five hundred DD pool. So 
So before I pull, I'm going to wait for everybody in the chat. I'm going to give you like a 20 second kind of window here. I'm going to ask, who do you think I'm going to get? Go ahead, post it in the chat and see if you're right. Because there's only five options. I know what you're right. I know what if my name is Alon and I was as popular as Alon, what would I, I get? Well, all I of them are fo- all of them are prestige food. So, in my opinion, I know what, he, I know what he's getting. Oh, cozy. he's gonna get the I, I said a cozy too. Oh, dude, leave it to Joe to be the one that's like on oh, the out. I think I think I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna get Sakani. <clears throat> we'll see. Woo, Put your guesses two. in. One for Sakani, two for Kosi. Yeah, he's getting a Kosi. All right, so here we go. We got one vote for Venom Tusk. <laughs> oh, wow. That, dude, I wish they would reskill that guy. Oh, I got what I said. <laughs> Proving oh. once again that I am not a developer. So. I told you, you're hooked to infiltrators, dude. You're hooked to infiltrators. Yeah. yeah. That's the truth. So it was Every Sakani. Five star for infiltrators. Every single one of them. Wow. Thank you for everybody who, t- who participated. I try to do some, you know, some chat participation Bennett, every once Bennett, in a while. what'd you get? Arca. Cheryl? Oh, you haven't been there yet. I, I'm not there yet. I'll be there by tomorrow. Or maybe today. Well, is that at 12 or at 15? That was at... Uh, hold on. Uh, it might have been at 15 because I just hit 15. All right. I, I think I got... No, it was at uh, 14.5. Hey, hey Salon, I have a question for you. Hmm. What's up? Have you um, have you ever fused a five star into a five star? Uh, on my test account, yeah. Oh, on my main account, oh. yes. My fifth oh. night, my fifth night whisper went into something. Another five star. Yeah. That I was leveling at the time. <clears throat> but I know, because I, 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 as soon as I got a fifth night whisper, I was like, uh, no, I don't need five. Yeah. You know, I still have yeah. four, but uh, I, I, I didn't see anything past four was necessary. <laughs> That's brutal. That's rough. What is it? Val has like nine of them or something like that? Oof. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's very possible. Yeah, In that like case, I would have definitely done something with like that too as well. There's that Hornet's Fury. <laughs> ah, man. I know, dude. I have to say that, you know, over the years, I typically don't get super really Wait great, amazing five stars. And when I got that Hornet's Fury, I was, I, it, it's definitely, cha- <laughs> it's definitely changed the game for me. There's so many people have said this, yeah. that, that over the years when they're like, Oh, I got this five star to change the game. And I'm like, ah, I wish I knew what that was like, you know? Yeah, that was, that was definitely Axis of War for me. Yeah. And everybody was, hey, yeah, everybody guys- would talk about Axis of uh-huh. War and I had to wait all the way until Absolutely. the event, until it came out. Mm-hmm. Finally. Mm-hmm. To be one of the, it still makes a difference, dude. Oh well, yeah, I'm using it. I'm using it in this event right now on Life Spark. Axis of War, Axis of War is still one of the best relics in the game. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely, best relic in the game. Well, Archmage's staff is pretty sweet. You're so mean. (laughs) Stop picking on me. We don't have that. Yeah, we don't have that. We're not that cool as a lot. Hey, Z Money, check this out. Or quick question: Did you um? Did you guys talk about the um, that Scarab relic that Entheogen released? Yeah. No, because that was uh, uh, the was only that three that I saw on the my Discord were the three that uh, Vintage talked about earlier. But yeah, the Scarab relic. Dude. Could you could you uh, read off the stats on that one? I gladly, good sir. But let me. Uh, and let this me Scarab hit relic is going to be released. Uh, w- what did it say? Uh, in which event? Okay, all that I don't know, but let me tell you something right now, right now. Well, it, it depends right on the sk- okay. Well, the skills might tell you, so go ahead. Okay, so it's it's definitely going to be a Pantheon collection oh, okay. because of the of what the Titans required for it. So it's called the Wing Scarab. So from top to bottom, it's fifty percent Titan all elemental damage, forty percent Titan and troop armor, forty excuse me, forty percent Titan and troop armor. 40% Titan and Troop Health, and then level 5 Relic Synergy, Egypt, in parentheses, Osiris, 
Anubis, Ra, Bast, Wajet, Aset, Sobek. Plus 50% base, Titan, and troop damage. Now at level 10, <clears throat> for those same uh, Titans, it says on Horde Death, 20% chance to call a corrupted Horde, max 3. Okay? Now, there's that one, right? And then they just recently uh, updated the synergy for the Egyptian amulet, and it does the opposite. I gotta go in the game real quick. And instead of boosting what I just said, I think it boosts like health or something. But that provides you instead of corrupted, it provides you um, Omega <clears throat> Horde Max Three. Then we were kind of like tinkering the other last night and, and discussing like you know. Well, you can actually equip those two relics on all of those Egyptian gods mentioned. Mm -hmm. But Osiris has this gnarly advantage where if he has the Hornet and those two relics, he is not only going to get five more Horde, he's also going to get three Corrupted and also three Omegas on top of his five. And and it was just kind of like, we were just like, whoa, this is crazy, man. So, um... Yeah, dude, I'm just kind of very curious uh, to see uh, when those are going to get released and, like, you know, when these Egyptian gods are going to get reskilled and, and what those, what their unique synergy maybe, are going to look like. Maybe they're going to be the up. next in between when it comes down to the next yeah. meta. Yeah, that's true. I think so as well. Hold on. Let me pull up the, the Egyptian relic real quick. That's with an E, right? Oh, you're yeah. halfway. Backwards on the heel. So let's see. Now the Egyptian, excuse me, the Egyptian amulet. <clears throat> now the skills from top to bottom um, are 50% Titan and Troop Void damage, 3 raised dead spells, 40% uh, Horde armor and armor piercing, and then at level 5 for Osiris, Anubis, Ra, Bass, Wajet, Aset, and Sobek, it's a 50% base Titan and Troop health. And then at level 10, on Horde Death, you have a 20% chance to summon an Omega Horde Max 3. You know? <clears throat> Horde Apocalypse 2.0. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, just wanted to bring that up just because uh, it'll be very interesting to see that, you know? And I think Osiris, again, will just definitely have a... Uh, another, uh, another wave of just excellence because he's obviously, like... A really gnarly titan but like you know with the hornet it provides what is it i think five additional troops every um once the titan goes down of the same uh element and then you add these two relics because these two relics are four stars and they they can both be equipped up to osiris so i'm just like my goodness this guy could have just like a literally a zombie apocalypse behind him in every battle so crazy stuff guys <clears throat> I'm gonna put one of my another one of my three star elemental grasps. I had eight of them. Now I have six of them. Now I'll go down to five. Put some put some four stars in there. You don't need those. No, guys. no, I'll get there. We're working Dragon on it. Dragon helms. You don't need any of that. Are you still using that 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 level ten frost beer? Toss it in there, dude. That'll max it out right there. <laughs> don't worry. Still, We're good. Are you still using? That might be good for something, girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're getting there. You know what? Go on. Put the elixirs in there. I'm not putting the oh. I'm not putting the elixirs in. Oh, don't do that. The elixirs gives you an extra synergy skill. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the elixirs give extra synergy skill. Uh, yeah. let's get even, so even no, two point five. Even, even, even two. advantage had to tune in. Wait, you got elixirs? Yeah, look, like, two star like, amber dragons. <laughs> Three star warriors ring. I cannot believe I cannot believe your. I'm so head. stoked that you have those elixirs, bro. I it just look flash wrong. A, a level five this. star tempest. That's, that's what I'm talking five, about, baby. Level five star tempest. When is that ever going to be any good? <laughs> there it goes. Our major staff is finished. Shield. Uh, you don't think that knight shield uh, should be a, a four star as well? You know how? Oh, it's because I don't be. have the four star version of it yet. As soon as I do, I will get rid of that. 
No, it's oh, not even out, dude. They don't have that my... Pantheon collection. Dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's why I think yeah, I have that's it. That's what so. I was talking about earlier. I was like, dude, they need to add four Star to a bunch of these collections. And I think oh, that that Night Shield would be great, dude. God. Like, look, it's giving you troop base damage. Come on, man. Make a four star for that one. God. And it gives you rage spells. Are you kidding me? So, Churl, quit. <laughs> Save it for your stream, Charo. So on, look, let me tell you, my health is running with the two, three, and four star Rati Max. Baby, let's go. <laughs> All right. All right, so Churo, you ready? Can you post your uh, channel in the chat? I can. <clears throat> Hold on. Actually, you know what? Let me. Zalan, say something encouraging real quick. Give a speech. So I could, like, well, I'm going to. I'll do one more. I'll do another Encourage. battle then while I wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. All right. So Turo is going to well, be. Because I was looking for the link for the for the stream. That's why. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. After party. Uh, a party. Okay, hold on, hold on. Almost ready. Almost ready. Yeah, because this is a big weekend with Everter. I mean, when it comes down to live streams, this is, this is the weekend to oh. do it. Zordon. Zordon. Yeah, right. <laughs> there it is. We're going to attack by Godzilla. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I do want to thank everybody that donated in the stream. That was uh, Vintage Extinction and Sean M. Oh, and on. Mad Yoda. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Oh, Ed's, it. Channel. Ed's channel. And Ed's channel? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 2000 Monopoly money. Dude, oh yeah, that's right. Money, Two thousand in Monopoly money. Yeah, he hooked it up. Oh. Yeah, Extinction said he wants me to cut my hair. To that, I say never, never. Must be nice. Must be nice. <laughs> Done with the corporate garbage. <laughs> Lucky you, dude. <laughs> God, corporate dude. You can God, that, when you just said that, it reminded me of that Michael Douglas movie where he's walking around with a suitcase. Hmm. Uh, I forgot the name of that movie. Falling Down. Great movie. Falling, falling Down. Just sitting here trying to eat my lunch. <laughs> my favorite line from that is is when he's walking on the golf course and the guy's telling him to get off the course. And then he hits the golf ball at him. And he gets up and he goes, Fine! <laughs> that, that movie was awesome. I freaking love that movie. <laughs> uh, he says that because he has no hair. Ben and Shor- All right, you good? You good? You good, Cheryl? Yeah, dude. All right, cool. All right, DOT community. I will be back, uh, we'll see, probably, I'd say, maybe Theater's War, depending on, like, when the, uh, like, if it's Tuesday, and we know the blog, and Tarhoons is out, and stuff like that, then, yeah, we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens, hopefully, like, Tuesday, Wednesday situation, so, I will talk to you all again, Thanks, yeah, no problem, Thanks, I do appreciate Thanks, it, alright, everybody, I will talk to you all again, very soon. Have a